Hello everyone and welcome back. My people, this one loud, like it don't set between Barista Deji and Yeso Wike. So recently, Barista Deji and the very dark man as well as a FCT resident, they protested because Wike displaced like thousands of people without providing any alternative, any shelter. So this is the reason why they protested. And in that protest, Barista Deji and the very dark man said, that Wike is a land grabber. So this is the reason why uh, Yeso Wike recently had a conference and uh, he said that uh, Deji and the very dark man that they are jobless. So this is the reason why Barista Deji is replying to him right now. Like you really need to hear what Barista Deji said here concerning Yeso Wike. Like he just finished Yeso Wike, patatata. Just take a listen. He's outburst about me and some persons in the country. Uh, our only crime is that we have decided to challenge him. We have decided to do constructive criticism to some of his bad policies, his anti-people policy in the FCT, and issues around land grabbing of poor people's homes, you know, and giving them to his friends. Thank God that in his reply, he has not uh, faulted us for the allegations we have raised. He has said yes, that he's giving the land that he's grabbing from poor people to his friends. That should he give the, the land to his enemies? You know, these are, this is the kind of people. These are the kind of people that are ruling our country. People that should be in jail. People that should be in jail for corruption, for stealing, for electoral fraud and malpractice. You know, they are the ones that want to give lectures on morality. He allegedly said that um, I came to him, I begged him to be National Public Secretary of PDP. All Nigerians know that I resigned from politics eight years ago. And that event that he's talking about happened before I, I even resigned from politics. Since my resignation from politics, I have been jailed, I have been handed, I have been beaten on the street. Yes, a week has severally called me over the years. We have maintained communications with him. He, and, and many times when I criticize him, he calls me and said he does not, he does not want friendship with me again. He lo, does not like to be criti criticized. You know, I didn't meet only Wiki. I met when I was still actively in politics. I met every governor of the PDP then. I've never seen where consultation with uh, party leaders results or it will be tag begging. And Wiki did never say to my face that he would not support me. He, in, in fact, when I was actively in politics several years ago, he told me twice, he supported me twice. First, you will recall that he was the one that brought Alimodu Sheriff. We opposed him for bringing Alimodu Sheriff. We said it was selfish, it was personal. He, he, he kept saying he was right. And after Alimodu Sheriff showed him Shege, he came back again and was crying. So the issue was, when I was in PDP about uh, close to nine years ago, uh, the, the party wanted to do a convention. And because the party wanted to do a convention, uh, I, I wanted to initially contest for public secretary because that was what was zoned to, my, to the North Central, where I come from. Thank God he, he, he gave background information about me. He kept saying, oh, that young boy, uh, one young boy, one young man. Wiki is just 11 years older than me. And maybe it's because he's not looking like, he's looking older than Tinubu and Buhari combined. That's why he now feels that he's an old man. He's an ancient of days. Wiki is a young man. I don't know where he got this idea that he's now an elder statesman for uh, making noise all over the place. So I can do this all day, all year. You know, I... He said, I'm jobless. Look at the edifice that you people have come to. This is our office. Does this place look like a jobless place? We employ over 25 people in this place. You know, that is both uh, lawyers and non-lawyers alike. Somebody says that, that we are jobless. If we are not like Wiki, who has always had his mouth tied to the, the bottle of, uh, patrimony of our country. I have never been elected as a public official or a political appointee. I, I was a trader. I've been a trader for years, then I resigned because tra trading is incompatible with legal practice. I'm not doing very well as a lawyer. So where is Wiki's second address? Wiki does not have a second address. His only address is uh, looting of public resources and public, public patrimony. Look at the way he's grabbing land in the FCT all over the place and giving it to his friends. He's grabbing even parks, stealing people's parks and turning it turning in, turn in, in, it into a resi residential building. And he, he expects people not to complain. Whenever you challenge him, he will call you. Yeah, he, uh, and there's nothing I, I, I'm saying that I don't have receipts. 
Whenever you challenge him, he does not like to be challenged. He has a he has this God complex. And should elders not be people who are, are confident, people that if you do something with your secret to be safe with them, assuming without considering that I even went and begged him, which is false. Should he call a presser and start crying eight years later, almost nine years later, that I came to him, I begged him, I did every PDP governor then, all PDP stakeholders, I consulted with them. I went around all the zones in this country, both when I wanted to be deputy public secretary, then when the party changed, resumed, and it was now, and the public secretary now came to my zone in the North Central, I still went around. Almost everybody endorsed me about eight, uh, eight, over eight years ago. They, everybody endorsed me. David Mark, all the leaders from the North Central endorsed me. In fact, my state leaders, state caucus, they told everybody running from Kogi to step down for me when we got to Patakot. There's no governor, and they're all around, even all his G5 governors. You can go and fact check me and ask all of them. There's none of them that I did not meet it over eight years ago to consult on this matter. I consulted all stakeholders in the party. When, and that time, what made me to start fighting, what, what made me to disagree with Wiki was, he called us and said he was going to support Jimmy Abadji. He said he was going to support Jimmy Abadji because Southwest has never produced a national chairman for PDP. And he made a fantastic case for Jimmy Abadji. We said, okay, no problem. Subsequently, after some time, we started hearing that he wanted to now support his kinsman which is a conduce. Because according to him, he said Jimmy Agbaje is beginning to prove like he's somebody that cannot be controlled. You know, Wiki is always looking for puppets. That's why he has found himself in this uh, quagmire with Fubara. And I commend Governor Fubara for dealing decisively with him. That's how to deal with tyrants. You, you must show them that they are, you reduce them to nothing and show them that they are absolutely nothing. Wiki is nothing without politics. He's nothing without our political coffers. The reason why he's making so much noise and considering new stands all over the place is because of our collective patrimony that he loots and steals because of the land he's grabbing in the FCT. That's why he's making this much noise. You know, so he changed his mind and said he went to support you, Second And many of us, believe me, all those that know me know that the first time I was arrested as an activist was when I was just merely 17 and I was detained. Over the years, over the decade, close to three decades, I have at the personal expense of my life, been active in criticizing government. I've put my own personal freedom. Wari arrested me almost about 11 or 12 times in eight years when Wiki was having a field day looting reverse money. We put our life on the line for this country. Clowns and charlatans like yes, and Wiki will open his dirty mouth and tell us that, uh, that I'm claiming that I'm an activist. And who is an activist? An activist is not somebody whether is it is political or apolitical. An activist is somebody that is seeking for societal change. The great Ganifa I made the sage ran for election in this country, contested for election in this country and lost. Ganifa I is one of the most revered activists in this country. Even on the continent, the great Femi Falana, Baba Falana, he ran for governor in Ekiti and lost. Does that reduce the quality of the work that he does for the society. Mandela the Great ran for political office, won. <laughs> if Martin Luther King was around, Martin Luther King would have run for office. We, we can want or everyone to leave politics to rogues like him. People that change election results and falsify election results. His idea of, of nation building is where rogues like himself would be in charge at the helm of affairs. You know, so all citizens of conscience should get involved in politics. I have no interest in politics anymore. I have gone, I have tried, I have seen that they can never change. They are dirty people. They, they do not play by the books. Even when I was in PDP, I was always criticizing them. And we himself can attest to this. I'm not a stranger to him. He, he, because he knows I'm from Kogi. And he gave full detail of me, which means he knows I'm not a stranger to him. We talk on WhatsApp, we talk, we talk all the time. So, but that would not make me to see Wiki doing the wrong thing. I stop criticizing. I will criticize him. There was a time I criticized him vehemently and he called. I was saying, why am I criticizing? I said, I will criticize you. No matter what, I will criticize you. But it does not mean because you are my friend. You will be doing the wrong thing. I will keep quiet. Never. I will criticize you. His friends called me. Father Sheikh called me. Uh, the former attorney general, all his friends called me. But I continue to criticize them. And I have severally praised Wiki for doing the right thing. If he does the right thing, I will praise him. 
If he steals people, people's land, grabs people's land, I will also criticize him. It's nothing personal. When he started saying he wanted to bring secondaries, we said, no. We can, you swore that it is going to be Jimmy Abadie. You swore that it was based on equity, that Southwest has never produced PDP before. But you know, Wiki does not have integrity. He does not know what integrity is. His words mean nothing. That was why at the PDP National Convention, before he lost, you know he swore that whatever happened, we abide by the outcome. Look at today. Wiki said uh, PDP is cancer. Um, APC is cancer. PDP is malaria. But today, Wiki is mingling with cancer. Same Wiki, same Wiki, with the same mouth, too, he speaks for both sides of his mouth. So, we challenged him and said, we will not allow your Uche second use. Which, which is partly, as I said, this, which is partly why I made the 360 turn and said, no, this man does not have integrity. That was why I stopped talking to him at that time. He never, you can fact check me, he never told me as he was saying that, oh, I came to meet him. He said he's not going to support. He, he, he can never say, tell me that to my face. He can never. Neither can any governor tell me that one to my face, that I'll come and meet you, you tell me that you will not. It's a lie. In fact, he promised me that he was going to support me. He could have, you know, Wiki, typical Wiki, just like he deceived Peter Obi. Peter Obi kept going to him, he was encouraging him, but he went behind his back and sabotaged him. You know, so maybe he was planning not to support me. But when I discovered that it was now obvious that he wanted to renege on his word of supporting Jimmy Abadie to support Secondus, I said, I will, no, that I will no longer even be party to the election. I resigned from PDP. You can go and ask Gabriel Suswan, Sule Lamido, uh, Ambassador Aminu Wali, and uh, Atari Bafarawa. They were begging me in Portacourt when, when I first announced that I'm going to resign from politics and PDP. That the reason why I came to politics was because of uh, Good Luck Jonathan. I joined politics in 2011, and I resigned from politics in 2016, about eight years ago. And I said, these people are too dirty. That I cannot be involved in this kind of dirty people. They, and all of them, they were begging me that I should not leave PDP. That I'm, a, that I'm an asset to the party. There's nothing they didn't do. I told them I made up, made my decision. I was going to leave politics and go back to my turf of activ activism. That is what I've been doing in the last eight years. My records, they speak for themselves. I have made great sacrifice at the expense of my freedom. Everybody in the nation knows that I have been sent to several prisons and detention facilities in this country. For somebody whose only achievement is, and he has never worked anywhere, contrary, unlike me, my records of my service, whether in my personal business and the places I've worked are there. This man has never worked anywhere. From a, a, a local boy, a, 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 from a, a motor garage uh, tout, he became local government chairman. From then, he has been betraying people. The only difference between Wiki and Portable is that Portable does not betray people that have helped him. But Wiki betrays everyone that has helped him. Wiki betrayed Good Luck Jonathan. Wiki betrayed Good Luck Jonathan's wife. Wiki betrayed Rotimi Amechi. Wiki betrayed um, Peter Odile, people that have helped him. Is it in the that Wiki will not betray? Even President Tinubu is not that dull. He's politically savvy. He knows. He's just using the long spoon to deal with him. And there's not there's nothing you do with Wiki that is safe. Wiki is the reason why they raided the home of judges. You remember now when they raided the home of judges. Wiki is one of the reasons, allegedly, why the former CCGN was removed from office. He kept going around saying that he has judiciary in his pocket and he was mentioning names. So there is the only difference between him and Portable is that. When you do something with Portable, at least Portable will not go against you and betray you. But no matter what you do for Yes and he will betray you. No matter what you do for him. So I'm not surprised that elders that should be confident, the people that, in his response to our criticism of him trying to buy the judiciary and pocket the judiciary, he said it is the president that asked him to be building houses for judges and giving judges cars. Was he not building houses for judges when he was governor of University? Was it Bola Metinubu that told him to build uh, houses and be buying cars for judges when he was in River State? All this land grabbing that he's doing, the people that are doing de deals with him, he will still expose all of them. All the land grabbing. He already, already said, he's allegedly saying that it is Tinubu that is telling him to grab people's land in the FCT. That it is Tinubu's wife 
that is telling him to grab people. He's telling people already, go to the FCT, FCT and the FCT. He has turned the place to uh, Obi Akbo. Oh, he asked people. He made them to imagine in the FCTA now and the FCT. FCT. Directors now report to make wicked aids from River State. What a shame and a parody of some sort. He had, you know, he he's a maximum ruler. Bullies people, just a bloody bully and a coward. Bullies people in the FCT, insults people anyhow, talk to people anyhow. He same weekend was talking in this interview that uh, Bala Mohammed. He said that Bala Mohammed should should never have been the uh, chairman of PDP Governors Forum. That in PDP that they do they do it based on a uh, rotation, north south north south. Okay, after Miniko, Miniko was a uh, PDP Governors Forum chairman, the next chairman was I uh, will his friend. It is always the most senior person, the most senior governor, the most the, the most senior ranking governor that becomes the Governor Forum chairman. Do you understand? So when his friend Ayofayo she took over after Mimiko, he did not see anything wrong in it. But now he sees something wrong in it. Same we, we case in something they revered Professor Chidi or the Kalu, who has been critical of him trying to uh, compromise our judiciary, saying that Wiki called some people, he said they are arise lawyers. Look at Wiki. That has never worked anywhere in his he, let Wiki bring his CV. Let Wiki bring his CV. Let me bring my CV. Where has Wiki ever went to five? Has he ever done in his life? Whose salary has he ever paid? Do you know how many people's salary we pay? We were pay, we've been paying in the last couple of years, even before we joined the legal profession as traders. We are accountable people. We are tax-paying people. You know, so it does not make any sense whatsoever. Imagine Wiki threatening a director in FCD, uh, 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 FCDA to resign. Just, just because of selfish interest. If, if he wants to do anything in your department and you don't agree, he will bully you. He will force you to resign or he will make your directorate redundant. And the people are scared of him. They cannot speak. And this is why I'm making myself available to them, all of them that we is bullying in FCT and FCTA. Come to me. I will help you. Come to me. I will deal with him for you. Report him to me. I will, I, I, I'm his own guy. I will deal with him. <laughs> Friendship is this. And I told him, this is on record. Let him come, come out and deny it. And I told him, I said, friend or not, I will criticize you. If you do bad, I will criticize you. If you do good, I will criticize you. Now, my question, sir, is this. Talking about this guy. Had followed the due process of law. You know, he does not like to follow due process of law. If he had followed due process of law, in the aspects concerning Ruga community and all the places that were demolished in Sabo Lube and everywhere. I would have messaged him and said, ah, ah, before the demolition, do this, do this. So a man just come brassly, without following the prayers of the Lord, start demolishing for people's home. You say, I should engage him. He said, no, that's an unreasonable person. The only language is like, don't, don't even worry. They kept to the chin out to me. Don't I refuse to engage them because they are unreasonable government. A government that will just come and start shooting protesters. Do you know how many Shiites Buhari killed? You want me to engage that kind of government? He is an unreasonable person. I know him very well. This is the only way. And we have achieved our aim. Of what we wanted to achieve, we got him to go there. The people are not been trying to, they are going to be relocated. Is the Jade Yoju one, we can zero. And if he does it again, I will do it, do it again to him. I will use, nobody changes a winning strategy. My strategy was to intimidate him. Uh, he said nobody can intimidate him. I already intimidated him already. And if he does it again, I will intimidate him again. He, he, that one is not, he says, he, nobody changes the winning strategy. It's a strategy that works for me. If he goes after poor people's home again, I will do to him same thing that I've done to him now. And we will get, we will get justice for the victims. Because there's due process of law. You are supposed to have gone to the tribunal, do the procedure if the people loses. The people have right of appeal to, court, to, to to the high court. None of those pro, due process of law was followed. He just to build those houses and went to bulldoze their houses and claim that they are shanties. That is invariably saying that poverty is a crime. What crime have the people committed by being poor? They will always be the poor among us. Even during the time of the prophets, the poor were always among us. And we must tolerate the poor because if we don't tolerate the poor, 
The poor will have no option but to eat the rich. And the rich will not be able to sleep if the poor cannot sleep. So that's one. On the second issue of what should be the political solution to the uh, river state impasse, believe me, we, there's nothing that Fubara would do that would make Wike to back, to back down. Wike, we, all of us in this new room knows Wike. All of is a totalitarian. He does not believe in middle ground. He will not shift. The governor has shifted severally, numerously. The, the way out is for the governor to confront him frontally. Like the way we have come, Wike does not like to be challenged. Once you challenge him, you know, he, 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 he becomes very jittery, you know, and starts talking anyhow. So the governor should challenge him headlong. There is no issue. The, the law is settled that when people defect, when people defect, they lose their seat. It's settled law. The Supreme Court has said it. Then they, they went and got a, a lower court to make another ruling on the same subject matter. So Fubara should just man up and challenge the guy. He, he's not God. This this God complex that Wiki has, that his words are supreme, his decree, he believes that this is a dictatorship. The same treatment that Wiki has given to people that have supported him, he will give it to Tinubu. Tinubu will not be an exception. And as if without considering that I went to beg Wiki, like he said in his interviews. Uh, about over eight years ago. So that means we is the oracle of PDP, is the one that makes people in PDP. So why couldn't he make himself PDP presidential candidate? Why couldn't we can make himself PDP presidential candidate? If, since he's the oracle of PDP, he's the one that determines who gets what, when, and how in PDP. Okay, why couldn't the oracle of PDP, why couldn't he make himself PDP uh, presidential candidate in the last uh, primaries? Okay. Okay. for different reasons. And activism is not the exclusive preserve of anybody. Nobody, there's no law that says, oh, if only I shall use food, I must be an activist. It's only the Jadin that must be an activist. It's only Femi Falana or late Ghani. Everybody is an activist in their own right. Whether you're a journalist, you use your platform to activate for societal change, whether you're an NTA, you are a New Central, wherever you, wherever you are. So in my own little space, I'm just doing my own little best. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying that I have the right uh, motivations or so. But even in my little corner, I've been able to get Wiki to be uncomfortable. In my little corner, I've been able to get Wiki to be uncomfortable. I, I got Wiki to leave his office. And he went to the community to address them. Do you know what it takes to get somebody like Wiki that is full of himself? To leave his comfort zone. Do you know what it means to get Wiki to summon a, a media party after going to Ruga? <laughs> so let me tell you something. There are few people like me that can do what I do. And it, it, I say this with all sense of humility. Uh, these things that we do is at personal cost. At great personal cost to our lives. And we'll continue to do it. It does not matter if tomorrow Wiki is the victim. We will still activate for, after all, people that have jailed us, we have activated for them in the past. So who is Wiki? Where are the people that were feeling so powerful? Where is Erufai today? There was nothing Erufai didn't do in this, in this town. Where is Erufai today? And just like I've said, you know, a word is enough for the wise. Wiki is 11 years older than me. But he's seeing himself as a grandfather today. Maybe because explaining himself. It's enough satisfaction for me personally. And this is a promise to SMK that I will do more. I'll make him to do more, shall I? So, my people, that is it. I hope you guys had what a barrister they just said here. Like, Wike finally met his match. Yes, so. So, I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about what Barrister DG said here concerning Yes and Wiki? And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now. Welcome to Chamber Seniors TV.